Hey dogs, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I have a HSN haul to share with you all. And a couple of these items um, I did already get to use, but I have just been trying to get in the habit of trying to haul things when I can. Because if I'm getting ready to buy something, sometimes I do reference back to my own channel. <laughs> Just to see what it is that I may have had if I'm either out or online doing some crafty shopping. So, first up are the By the Letter Alphabet dies, And these are by Anna Griffin. And I love the fact that Anna always includes a sheet that gives you ideas on how to use these dies. And um, it comes with both the capital and lowercase letters. And I did use them with my Anna Griffin Empress machine. And I also did a project with these already. I created a Dollar Tree Easter basket out of a shipping box for my niece. And that tutorial is already posted. And I love the fact that Anna's dies come on these magnetic sheets as well. Even though I... <laughs> took my dies off the magnetic sheets and just started putting them in the smaller little plastic bags because my die collection has been expanding a bit but i do still like this especially for bigger dies like this i'll go ahead and put it in a binder because i already had a system like this going anyway next up are the calligraphic sentiment dies <laughs> tongue twister and again she included a idea sheet and I love these because these came out just in time they're happy birthday my twin and I have a birthday coming up Mother's Day is coming up same month as well as Father's Day following that and it seems like we are in for a bit with this whole coronavirus so therefore I'm definitely going to have the time to go ahead and make some cards. Now, this one I did not get to use just yet, but I do um, have a girlfriend whose birthday is this month, and I've been doing some crafting for her so that I can send her items out whenever the time is right. So, I love this. The balloon is probably definitely my favorite, but I absolutely love hearts. And to be perfectly honest, even though these have the sentiments, I do like the fact that you get a shadow die as well. Um because if you wanted to, you could just cut something out with the shadow die and just layer it up with some flowers or put a stamp a digi stamp or something like that on it you don't really have to stick to the sentiments that's on the front there's a lot you can do with these so i think this was a nice collection of shapes i guess you could say and the sentiments are pretty much something you'll use every year for the most part and then we have this is the ornate concentric cut and emboss dies now I do need to open this but let me just try to show you all what this looks like. I do need to open this one up. I did not get a chance to use it just yet but I love Anna's dies. I love gold. She she does a lot of like Victorian inspired things so I just love building up my collection from her because I love the Victorian time. So I'm going to try and, yeah, I just want to pull this out just in case there's anyone who hasn't seen this stuff. But there are so many videos, I'm sure you've all seen this. But I do love the different ideas that she has on here. And this is just a guideline. You do not have to do what she does it's literally just you know sometimes we get things in the mail or we buy things and we don't really have an idea and we're kind of like oh i know i can use this um so i enjoy that now this was in another haul and i cannot remember what was all in that other haul but um this was next to this stuff so i figured i'd throw it in here this is the anna griffin vellum layers and you get 96 stamped foil and stamped sheets and I love Anna's packaging. It matches my um, craft offices perfectly. So I can just sit her stuff out and know what's inside of it. And not necessarily have to worry about um, 
it looking cluttered, I guess you could say. There's different colors in here. And ironically, the one that's on the top <laughs> would be the green. But there are some pinks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some pinks and blues. But you get different sizes for these. And these will be nice to layer with other cards and such. And I'm going to... Oh, up, see? See the pink? I'll open up one of these just so we can show the colors. And you get a lot in here. There's 96. So, um... And you do get multiples of each color. So this is like a black, a navy. This would be nice for Father's Day to go with that um, last dye I showed you all. This is like a, looks like a red. And we have gold. Green, my favorite. This would be nice for Christmas as well. Ooh, I love the pattern on this love 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 the pattern and i don't know if you noticed it or not but the pattern does change on some of these i love that i like the fact that she included some greens i know that's not a color that's normally for most people but it is for me love this mustardy looking color and then this is the last two colors in here so i will be enjoying those Again, this is the vellum layers kit. Oh, and the sizes are 4x6, 5x7, 5x5, and 6x6. And then the last thing that I see near me <laughs> is this. This is the Anna Griffin Finishing School Craft Box, and this is the Wild Flower Garden. I did actually sign up for the auto ship and the next one will be in may and that's the uh gentleman's box i believe at first i wasn't going to get it but i don't know we'll see I, I think i'm going to get it but i love the box that this comes in this is really nice so again i don't have to worry about when this stuff comes in finding somewhere to store it because i can leave it out in my offices as is okay so i'm just going to open this like this now um so this first sheet just gives you some instructions and a code to view the classes if you want and she gives you more instructions or ideas i guess you could say in here okay and then you have your dies which i like and you can layer these on top of the other ones Okay, and you do get an embossing folder. That embossing folder is really nice. That's if it can even pick up on camera. And then you get you some paper. And I believe all of these are the same exact color. And then you get pattern paper as well to make cards. And I like this. I'll go over and open these up really quickly. Okay, so we have some pink greens i like these this looks like the this is the design on the front of the box and this is these two the yellow and the pink are the designs of the box that's pretty cool okay i have this and i love the purple purple is another one of my favorite shades and then you get your card bases which is pretty cool see so it's printed on the front and then on the back it has handmade by and I love that. I think that is really nice and you know it's just that extra touch to make your cards look a little more professional and high quality. Okay and then we have some sentiments. Let me open this up. And I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll just show you what some of them look like. So we have some happy birthday, best of luck, with love, on your birthday, on this special day, best of luck. Um, let me see. And I have to look through Cricut Design Space for my dear friend. I like this. And see, like, you know, what images we have as well. Because I do make some of her thank you 
some of her projects from Design Space. And then we have Get Well Soon. So I like those. And these are probably repeats in here. And then you have some flowers. And I know for sure she has some flowers in Design Space that you can print and then cut because I made a card for one of my um, friends for her wedding and I use some of the flowers and I like these because you can just take the this is stuff that we I do anyway you can just layer up the flowers are like layered up so this is really cool um, I love these images and I know Anna's style is like an acquired style and taste but I like it because I feel like you can mix and match her stuff really nice oh what was that oh this is a butterfly that's beautiful okay so we have more flowers and then last but not least we have envelopes all right so that's everything that i have to share this go round. um i've been having some crafters companion come in so i might go ahead and share those hauls as well but hopefully you saw something that interested you and be sure to comment like and subscribe i will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching have a great day doll smooches Mwah. bye